What's going on guys? Today, I'm going to be changing the brakes on my wife's car. It's a 2014 GMC Acadia. Thought I'd just go through a little do-it-yourself at home brake change with you guys. Um, going to be doing the fronts, we're going to be doing the rears. I'm replacing the brakes and the rotors. Um, show you how I do it at home because not of us, all of us have the money to do it in a shop. And you don't have to have tons of specialty tools guys. I'm just going to show you real quick. I've got flathead screwdrivers, dead, uh, dead weight mallet, my pry bar, got a handy dandy um, tray, magnetic tray to put all of our bolts in so we don't lose them. I've got my ratchet with a uh, 13, I'm sorry, yes, uh, 13 millimeter socket that's going to be used for the uh, removing the um, caliper. And then I've got a 13 16 for removing this piece right here. That way we can get that rotor changed. As well as we've got the jack stand uh, and jack tool here that we use. This right here is the only specialty tool, but I've just got the cheap one. You can get this at any auto parts store. It is a brake caliper tool, as well as got my uh, drill for removing the security bolt right here on the rotor. And then WD-40, new brake pads, and then got our rotor over here. So guys, we are going to set up, let me get set up back here, and we'll get to it. All right guys, so here we go. First things first, we want to remove the two 13 millimeter bolts on the back here. So I've got my ratchet. Had these ratchets for years. They've been tried and true and trusty. Always remember when removing bolts, don't take one completely out before you loosen the other one because it will cause this to shift and spin and you don't want that. So we can do that also guys, just a little extra leverage. You can always just gently tap with the dead weight mallet. Simple as that, we'll get those pulled out. Now before I completely pull this piece off guys, you've got a line back here. So that line back there, you don't want anything to happen to it. You don't want it to break. So we will take, I fashioned a clothes hanger. So I'm just gonna run it up through the top of the suspension here. And I'm making a hanger for the caliper. Simple as that, it comes off guys, boom. So then we're gonna take this and we're going to run the fashioned hooks through. And that way it hangs out of place. You're not gonna take a chance of damaging the brake line, okay? So next we're gonna go ahead and pull the old pads off. Come on. Sometimes you do need the help of a flathead just to get it. You can see those are pretty worn, guys. So we're gonna pull those out. Just wanna remember the orientation. Got about the same wear, inner and outer pad, so that's a good sign. We were down to the squill bar, so the audible notification that you need breaks. Now, the next thing is though, we need to replace these rotors. Now the rotors don't necessarily always have to be replaced but we've got some mileage on this car and these can't be machined for a new surface because they were below, they would be below um, manufacturer spec. So at this point, we're gonna get in here, pull this off and pull the rotor out and then install the new one. Check my slide pins. The slide pins still move wonderfully. All right, so next off, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the clips here that we're holding the old brake pads in because we have a new set that go with this. So throw those away. Boom, throw those away. All right, so those are good to go. Pull it back over here. Next guys, you are going to need a T30 Torx bit. 
to remove that torch security bit right there. All right, put a tool right here. These come off fairly easy. If for some reason there's rust issues and they don't, you can always give a tap. As you can see, mine came off fairly easily. Able to take them off. New rotor is gonna go on just fine. So let me grab the new rotor, guys. New rotor is bright and shiny. And as you can see, like the old rotor, it is six lug security got the fins on it you always want to match it up with the other rotor make sure it's the same size make sure you got the same bolt pattern i i predetermined this before i started um so now what we'll do is we will place this back onto the vehicle we're going to put the new clips in on the for the brakes so, got the new clips right here, guys. So, we're gonna take these, simple install, and say the flat crossbar right here is gonna run along the outside of this portion. So, you're just going to install these. All right, we're good to go there, guys. We know the slide pins are good. Put all our tools back over here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna remount this. Line it up, there we go. All right, next step is to put the new brake pads on. And you see we have our new pads here. Ooh, shiny new. As we know from looking at the pads that came off, we have the audible portion that'll tell you when your brakes are low. So the audible is this, this runs on the road and it'll tell you it's low. That goes to the back. So the new brakes are in, all right? Our next step is that caliper. Go slowly guys, don't rush it. Just be cautious, watch that boot. Okay, just a nice, easy, slow push will do. You don't want to damage the caliper. If you go fast, you may push the other, other caliper out. Make sure whatever happens while you're doing this, when you have the caliper off, that you or no one around you gets into the vehicle and presses the brakes until everything is fully reassembled. That could be very damaging to the caliper and blow it out. Then you're having to buy new calipers, guys. Okay? All right, guys, we are now fully compressed. We're ready to reinstall. So, place our tool back over here. So we will now take this. Make sure we're not all twisted, being cautious of that brake line. And slide that right back on. And it should slide right back into place, guys, nice and easy, okay? Rotors and brake pads completely done, ready to go. Next step, I'll be moving to the rear brakes, guys. I'll catch you on the back end of the car. All right, guys, now we're down to the back of the car. So what we're gonna be doing here is replacing the brake pads, the rotor, and we're gonna be adjusting the emergency brake while we're in there. So once again, got our tools ready got your pry bar, hammer, flathead screwdrivers that you may need, your brake caliper compressor or brake piston compressor um, ratchet. This time you're going to need a 14 instead of a 13. That's the only thing we're replacing. So we still got all the same tools. We got our brake pads, our new rotor, and we are ready to start cooking here. 
I also have a headlamp this time because it'll make it easier for me to see when I'm doing the adjustment on the on the e-brake. Not gonna need the hanger this time, guys, because there's actually a spot back here that you can safely set your caliper without damaging the brake line. It'll just go right back here over top of the suspension component and it sits just fine. So you'd be okay doing that. So now we're gonna go in here, we're gonna take the screwdriver, we're gonna pull out those old brake pads. Sometimes they're stuck in there pretty good and you just have to work them out with a flathead. So when it comes to factory, it can be a bit of a pain, guys. But y'all that have worked on cars before would understand that and know that. It just fell right in my hands. Y'all see that catch? That was fantastic. So we'll check the caliper mount, caliper holder, whatever you want to call it. Um, slide pins are good. They move freely. That's a good thing. So we will just take these retaining clips out because I will be replacing the retaining clips. And we will just throw those away just like the pads. Set this over to the side for the moment and we will take care of that. Now the next step, take that T30, remove that safety. Set it to the side so we can put it back in when we put the new rotor in. On the rears, there's an access hole for the emergency brake. There's a cover for it. You need to make sure to take that cover out. When you take that cover out, hold on to it so it can go back into the new rotor. All right, here's my tip guys, because this can get messy. Take the new rotor out of the box. Use this box, <laughs> place it under the old rotor. As you are about to have to see, it does not just come off. You can hit it here to remove it, these different points. Try to avoid hitting the studs, okay? But you're gonna hit it to remove it. Um, I like to give it a little bit of lubrication. Just so that it comes off the hub easier. All right. I already hear it falling. Voila, and that's how you get it off guys. Nice and easy, nice and simple. I'm gonna leave that right there until I put the other one on just so I can catch all the brake dust because it is filthy. Like there's so much brake dust because at this point we are now into the emergency brake. There's shoes on the inside for the emergency brake. So I'll show y'all really quick the emergency brake right here if you look here's your adjuster so with this adjuster we will adjust this e-brake here in just a moment but first I wanted y'all just to see so here's the shoe the shoers are in good shape so we don't have to replace those but we will adjust them so if you got brake clean go ahead and spray it off clean it up do all that guys next step is going to be putting that new rotor on all right so I got the new rotor she looking good, she looking clean, she looking fine. All right, so you wanna, you wanna one, you're gonna have two holes, here and here. This, the, the one that is a cone, safe, cone shaped recession is gonna be for your uh, Torx screw. And this is gonna be for that rubber piece we just pulled out. So line it up, all right. Line it up and get it on. Put that torque screw back in to hold that rotor in place. All right. And 
shoes in place. All right, guys, your next step, that's why I have the light. Your next step, you've got to adjust that e-brake. So you see how freely it moves right now? All right, so we are going to tighten this up till, till I can't move this anymore. So take a flathead, stick through the hole, and there'll be notches on that barrel piece you just saw. Go ahead and just keep clicking them up. Just keep clicking them up. You're gonna do it until you can't do it anymore, okay? And I'll show you why in just a second when we get there. All right guys, so I've done that. Now look, I can't turn this anymore. Now you wanna back it off until that shoe lightly drags There, it's lightly dragging. I think that should have us adjusted well, guys. So at this point, we are going to put that little rubber grommet. Oh, didn't get all my light, sorry about that. We're gonna take that little rubber grommet. We're just gonna pop it right back in, boom. That way you have easy ways to adjust at any point in time. And take those guides, we're gonna turn it, and we're gonna install them just like they were before. All right, remember, to the outside is where the bar goes. Just slide it right on. These ones sit nice and snug. They've kind of got an angle to them, so you slide the back side in first, just like so. Just back side and in. And there you have it, guys. So this is ready to be put back on. Next step, take the new pads, guys, and install them. Our caliper piston back in place. So we we'll grab our piston tool, like we previously did. Line it up and slowly push it back into place. Make sure you're watching that boot also, guys. Be gentle. And we are now ready to put it back on. Should slide on nice and easy now. Line it up. Looks like we're finishing up just in time. I'm losing the glove. All right, guys, there it is. Well, the one thing I have to tell you is, so we finished the brakes, front and rears, and now we are going to go test drive it. When you get in, slowly pump your brakes before you put in a drive or leave or anything, okay? Do not slam the brakes. Just nice and slowly pump it. You don't want to take a chance of blowing everything back to that brake master cylinder and blowing out the master cylinder. I've seen it happen before. So, nice and slow, guys. I thank you for taking your time to hang out with me and watch this. I'm gonna go test drive it. I'll catch y'all when it's all done. She performed beautifully, guys. Well, I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this. I hope this helped you at home as well. So, if you get a chance, click right here. That way you can check out my channel. Or, click here to watch my latest video. Don't forget to hit the like, thumbs up, and subscribe, guys. That way you can check anything I ever do. Thank you again, have a wonderful day.